Welcome to the industrial grade text-to-speech application, your powerful solution for instantly converting written content into lifelike audio. Built with Python and powered by Google Text-to-Speech, this web-based tool gives users the ability to customize speech by language, pace, and regional accent. Whether you're creating training materials, accessibility tools, or voiceover content, our intuitive interface delivers fast, accurate results. With real-time audio generation, advanced caching for efficiency, and support for multiple narrator styles, this system is designed for developers, educators, and professionals who demand both flexibility and reliability. Let's take a closer look at how it all works. Our application starts by importing all necessary modules. Python's built-in libraries such as OS, IO, RE, Hashlib, Logging, and Functools provide critical functionalities like file system interaction, regular expression operations, hashing, and structured logging. These are essential for maintaining performance and modularity. Next, we use Streamlit, a powerful framework for building interactive web apps using pure Python. Finally, we include GTTS, the Google Text-to-Speech API, which converts written text into spoken audio. With these libraries in place, we have all the tools needed to build a robust, efficient, and user-friendly text-to-speech web application. We configure a logging system using Python's logging module. Proper logging is crucial in any production-grade application for real-time monitoring, debugging, and auditing. The setup underscore logging function establishes a standard format for each log message, including the timestamp, log level, and message content. The logger is named streamlet underscore TTS to distinguish it from other potential components or modules. Throughout the application, we use this logger to record important events such as cache hits, successful audio generation, and errors. This setup not only improves maintainability but also aids in diagnosing issues quickly, especially when the app is scaled or deployed. To optimize performance and reduce unnecessary processing, we implement a caching mechanism for audio files. A dedicated directory named .audio underscore cache is created if it doesn't already exist. This directory stores previously generated MP3 files, allowing the system to reuse them instead of regenerating the same audio multiple times. This approach conserves resources and speeds up response time significantly. By checking whether a file already exists before generating new speech output, the system becomes more efficient. This caching layer is especially beneficial in high-use environments where certain input phrases may be repeatedly submitted by users for speech generation. The cache underscore audio function is a decorator designed to wrap around our speech synthesis function. It intelligently checks if a given text, combined with its configuration options, has already been processed. To identify uniqueness, it generates a secure hash using the text and options, then checks if a corresponding MP3 file exists in the cached directory. If found, it serves the cached version instantly. If not, it proceeds with synthesis and then stores the resulting audio. This modular design ensures that caching is handled transparently, improving performance without complicating the main business logic of speech generation. Before we convert text into speech, we ensure it's clean and properly segmented for natural sounding delivery. The preprocess function uses regular expressions to split input text into sentences based on punctuation such as periods, exclamation marks, or question marks. It trims extra white space and joins sentences back together with proper spacing. This normalization process makes the output more coherent and improves the intonation in the generated speech. Unlike heavy NLP libraries, this method is lightweight yet effective, making it suitable for quick deployments and resource-constrained environments where minimizing dependencies is essential. The synthesize underscore GTTS function is the heart of the speech generation process. It leverages the Google Text-to-Speech API, or GTTS, to convert textual input into spoken words. The function accepts the normalized text and additional parameters like language, speech speed, and top-level domain, TLD, to determine accent. For example, COM provides an American accent, 
while CO.IN yields an Indian voice. The resulting speech is written to a buffer and returned as binary data. This design keeps the function flexible and reusable while enabling users to hear natural sounding output based on their selected preferences. We initialize our streamlit web app with the set underscore page underscore config method, which sets a title and basic page setup. This is followed by the main title displayed on the dashboard, industrial grade text to speech, which informs users of the app's capability. Streamlit enables Python developers to build web interfaces quickly without needing front end experience. The layout is clean and organized, offering a professional user experience suitable for demos, client use, or educational purposes. With minimal code, Streamlit handles layout, form handling, and media rendering, allowing us to focus purely on business logic like pre processing and TTS synthesis. The sidebar provides user-controlled settings for customizing the speech output. Users can choose their preferred language, enable slow speech for better clarity, and select a narrator accent from options like US, UK, Australian, or Indian. These narrator styles are implemented using the TLD parameter, which modifies the regional pronunciation of the speech engine. The configuration panel makes the app interactive and versatile, catering to different linguistic backgrounds and listening preferences. By separating these controls into the sidebar, we keep the main interface clean while giving users full control over the speech generation process. In the main section of the dashboard, users are prompted to input the text they want to convert to speech. A text area provides ample space for paragraphs, allowing everything from short phrases to longer speeches. When the user clicks the Generate Speech button, the app processes the input using the preprocess function, then passes it to the Synthesize underscore GTTS function. This design ensures a smooth user experience from input to output. Error handling and logging are built in to notify users if something goes wrong, such as invalid input or API failure. After successfully generating the speech audio, the app plays it back using Streamlit's built-in audio player widget. If there's an issue during synthesis, such as invalid characters, network problems, or API failures, the app logs the error and informs the user through an on-screen message. These robust handling mechanisms ensure the application is user-friendly and reliable. Each successful generation is also logged along with the narrator style used, providing a trail of activity for auditing or debugging. The final experience is both informative and functional, ready for industrial, educational, or personal applications. And that wraps up our walkthrough of the industrial-grade text-to-speech dashboard. You've seen how to input your text, choose your narrator accent, adjust the speech speed, and instantly generate and listen to the output. With integrated caching, intelligent preprocessing, and support for multiple voice styles, this tool is more than just a demo, it's a practical asset for your production pipeline or client-facing applications. Try adapting it for your use cases, from voice announcements to e-learning narration. Thank you for exploring this application, and be sure to subscribe or follow for more intelligent tools built with Python.